Julie from the Heart of Feather Heart Temple YouTube site, 11519. I'm going to tell you a story about the chicken lady. There was this lady in town. Never met her. She smudged my name. Now, next to the chicken lady lived the cat lady. Now, the chicken lady, for some reason, decided to poison the cat lady's cats. It caused her misery and heartache that she would never deserve. The cat lady is a beautiful human being, a good-hearted human being. She would say things like, who's going to take care of them if I don't? Beautiful, beautiful human being. So, I can't say that the chicken lady is a narcissist, but one of the attributes of the narcissist is they like to decide things for you, like play God. So, she could be a narcissist, I'm not sure. Anyway, she poisoned the cat lady's cats, and I to told the cat lady not to worry about it because the universe sees everything and that the universe would take care of it because you don't do bad things to good people, for one. You don't make decisions about their lives like the chicken lady did for the cat lady. So, I'd say about three years went by, and guess what? A mean dog entered the chicken lady's yard and killed all of her chickens, except for one. The cat lady said there were feathers everywhere. It was a horrible scene, and the cat lady cried and felt terrible that all the chickens were killed that way. So, you see, you don't have to do anything when someone does you wrong. It does come back to them. may not be right away, but it does come back to them. And the moral of the story is, you don't get to decide things for people. Narcissist, chicken lady. <laughs> you don't get to decide. Because what you do to others, I don't know how it happens, but it comes back to you. So in essence, when you do something bad to someone, you're really doing something bad to yourself. Have a beautiful day, beautiful people. I think that say, there's a saying that says, karma's only a bitch if you are. I said it before, I think, in videos, another video. It applies here. Thanks for listening.